Ahoy and a wonderful good day dear friends. Who doesn't know it, even on vacation in the most beautiful places on earth you can find plastic. You can't do without synthetic substance even in aqua or terrariums. Nowadays whole aquariums are sold entirely made out of plastic. My heart piece, the Czech Airlift, is also made of 100% synthetic substance, including the seal and the plastic glue. But is it really true that we cannot do without plastic in the aquarium? I'm doing the test in this video series. Subscribe to the channel and don't miss the next episode. First of all, the question of the material arises. Bamboo and wood are conceivable, but decompose and are unsuitable for our purposes. After weeks of deliberation, I decided to use potter's clay. Clay minerals are very soft. When heated, they change into harder and firmer minerals and this is called ceramics. I've never made pottery in my life and I'm trying to recreate a Czech airlift here with various tools. Even if it looks like a potter's video for beginner, in any case the result has left me speechless. If you want to know more about the operation and details of the Czech airlift, click on the info box in the top right. The centerpiece will be the tiny holes that I pierce here and very important of course the pressure chamber through which the air is later pressed through the holes. The clay was sticky at first and you can see the traces of this battle on the worktop. We also need a hose connector for the air supply, almost done. After 24 hours the clay should have dried. I waited a little longer and can now make some improvements with the skull pad. I now burn my work pieces in a special kiln and the new plastic free ceramic airlifts are ready. It is very important not to use glazes or colors. These can be provided with heavy metals which we don't want to have in our aquarium water. The holes must be drilled somewhere blocked In one of the next episodes I will show you how I solve the problem with the plastic hose. This is a prototype and I will open the pressure chamber again for a video later. I use a solvent and silicon free underwater adhesive here. But I expressly say it is possible to build the Czech airlift from one piece without glue. Instead of the underwater glue, you can also use aquarium silicone. So, here is my first step to a plastic free aquarium. This Czech airlift based on natural materials. My first impression is that the ceramic stands more stable in the water while the plastic airlift floats, which is why you usually need a suction cup. I test the airlift for leaks and I am surprised that it works straight away. I usually glue the plastic airlifts with tangit and silicone, that usually doesn't work the first time. 
So now the important thing, the practice test. I put the ceramic airlift here in my soft water Caridina bassin behind a Hamburg mat filter and this is how it looks. I can regulate the air supply with a valve. In conclusion it can be said, the new airlift does not run as smoothly as the standard airlift next to it. But these parts are factory made and completely out of plastic. The handmade airlift is heavier and does not need to be attached separately. The variants of building a twisted or your own airlift are immensely diverse. Effect and silenceness are the characteristics of a Czech airlift and the new ceramic airlift is in no way inferior to any other airlift that I have built. See for yourself. I am very enthusiastic myself, actually see no reason to build more plastic Czech airlifts and will definitely continue the ceramic project. If you like what you see and want to support me on my way to a plastic free aquarium, subscribe to the channel, write me your opinion in the comments and don't miss the next episode.